At present, the Airbus A220-300 is certified to carry a maximum of 149 passengers if it has a particular type of overwing exit. However, the European plane maker is hoping to get its adopted Canadian-designed aircraft certified to accommodate 160 passengers, with work on this process set to start this year. Will this be beneficial to passengers, or just the airlines operating the type? We take a look at this development for today's video. As reported by Flight Global, Airbus is aiming to start certification work on a 160-seat version of its A220 this year. The drive to have the type certified to accommodate more passengers apparently comes from airline customers who see the move as a way to increase profit margins. Now, according to the A220's type certificate datasheet with EASA, the A220 can accommodate a maximum of 157 people on board. 149 passengers, plus one pilot, one co-pilot, one observer, and a maximum of five cabin crew. 149 passengers is only allowed if the overwing exits are of the option C2563-1002 variety. This sees the replacement of the single lane-off wing slide with a dual lane-off wing slide. This was made possible in July 2021 when EASA officially approved the capacity increase which is up from a maximum of 145 passengers. Accommodating more passengers in an aircraft fuselage that isn't being physically stretched has everything to do with safety and swift passenger evacuation in the event of an emergency. Thus, a higher-density 160-seat variant will need to be able to ensure passengers can still exit the aircraft quickly. This is said to require a second overwing exit, something we see on jets like the Boeing 737 and A320 family. As you can see, the A220-300 currently has just one overwing exit on each side. Sadly, what this means for passengers is that airlines will be clear to cram more seats into the A220-300, meaning tighter seating configurations and less space to stretch one's legs. With the A220-300 having a 2-3 seating layout, Moving from 149 to 160 passengers means an extra 11 seats, and this would see two more rows installed on board. And so, while this is great news for airlines hoping to operate all-economy, high-density operations, it's not particularly beneficial to travelers, unless, of course, it results in lower airfares. But, well, this isn't always guaranteed. So, what do you think of Airbus working to get its A220-300 certified to accommodate 160 passengers? Let us know by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.